so this is about another project where I'm giving my full talk tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning. So I'm totally fine if no one's going to be there because it's 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, so I also given this as a lightning talk. So I just grabbed out the slides and uh, took the opportunity. So uh, this is about uh, PEP, pretty easy privacy. It comes from uh, pretty good privacy and it wants to make the privacy, uh, the default out there. We want to do mass encryption against mass surveillance. So um, we are on a mission, uh, yeah, doing mass encryption. It's free software for sure. What the software does is what the user would want to do. Instead of writing how-tos, we write protocols. So we're coming from this crypto party scene, explaining people on and on and on and on what they need to do and seeing what, that they always make mistakes. And then we just said, why don't we just write this into a protocol? And then we write software to, uh, speaking this protocol. So um, PEP is free software, it's uh, under GPL, and it shall support multiple platforms, multiple languages, multiple crypto technologies, and multiple message transports. So, um, for example, crypto, it already does open PGP, GNU PG as MIME, and it shall do OTR, and the signal protocol is Axolotl, and whatever is going to be out there in the future. So generally, uh, the architecture is that uh, we have an engine which uh, provides all the um, crypto functions and also uh, knows about the message transport protocols and all that stuff. And then we have adapters to plug it into applications. Um, so the adapters are available in multiple languages like uh, Java and JSON and uh, Python and Qt and for iOS and everything. Um, and we also develop on multiple platforms, iOS, Android, Linux, BSD, Mac, Mac OS, and Windows. So what's already out there is an uh, Android fork, which is um, ready to use. It's available on the uh, Play Store and on F-Droid, uh, as well as an Outlook plugin. I don't know why it got blue now, but OK. Um, an Outlook plugin, which is ready to use and available on prettyeasyprivacy.com. It's free as in freedom, but not free as in free beer. Um, but if you want to test it out, please contact us for licensing, uh, testing license. Just mention FOS, FOS Asia there. Um, then there's going to be Thunderbird and Enigmail with the next release of Enigmail. Um, by the way, who is using GPG at the moment? Ah, okay, so yeah, there's apparently a need. So uh, Thunderbird and Enigmail is the way you would usually use it if you would be using it right now already. So um, there's not going to be any key management then anymore and the old mode stays as export mode still. But then uh, if you're not using it, you don't uh, yeah, know what's the old mode and the new mode. So the current implementations we have um, for uh, PEP is uh, that it only handles OpenPGP and SMIME without any hassle for the user. So we're not doing all those messaging protocols and all those crypto uh, functionalities already. At the moment, we're only doing GPG, PGP, SMIME and email. So, but that still um, would bring us uh, much forward, I hope, because email is still the uh, most widely used uh, transport protocol we have out there. So, and it finally does PGP without any hassle for the user. So asking again, who was trying to use GPG and gave up on the way? <coughs> okay. <laughs> So um, what PEP does, it automatically encrypts. It encrypts the subject in line, um, which usually is uh, also not encrypted. Uh, you don't need to do key management anymore. It's been done by the software. Um, there is no key server or other centralized infrastructure. Um, we have a concept to transport fingerprints into trust words to make it easier to read them out loud on the phone. And um, there is an opt-in passphrase for keys. <laughs> so um, the ideally, you just send out an email like normal. So if you install this Outlook plugin, nothing will change for you as a user. You don't have to type in passphrases. You don't have to do any key management. You just send emails and receive them. Um, then we also uh, want to encrypt the header and obfuscate at, as much as possible to get rid of as much as data, uh, metadata as possible. And uh, there's also a uh, PEP sync upcoming, which will do uh, key syncing and um, also calendar and stuff. 
So about to come is more external code reviews and uh, more applications than anonymity via GNUnet. If you don't know what GNUnet is, please check it out. It's a very important project coming up in the next, I would say, five years, but then the Internet is really going to change. Like uh, Frank said yesterday on the stage, like Internet 2.0 and more transport protocol support. So that's it. Again, uh, contact uh, the project, contact me, and yeah, thank you for your attention.